the, sorry, the chopped, the UK version, it's the best way to put it. I want some fat in it because we're going to be adding um, butter to it as well. And if there's already fat in it, less butter using the, now Coda's going in there. I know, sorry, I have to take the girl in there. Yeah, both of them are visiting. <laughs> cool. Okay. So actually I need to buy a hamburger. This is very important. Keeps the meat from searing to the bottom. To be honest, I like the look of that piece. Mm. And that's gonna be a harder one. Yeah, but the brine uh, is really just Um, salt, um, pink, I use prog powder in this, um, there's sugar, there's spices, and I used a pre-made, I, I made this salt and brown spice, or pickling, uh, spice rub. I think I'm going to go for those two. And I forgot to rinse these off, and that is kind of important, because these are really salty, and although this family loves salt, there is such a thing as too much for a flavor. Although honestly, I haven't, I've only run into that once. Now I can put it in. But yeah, the, uh, it's very effective. I do love the recipes. It allows you to tinker with it, add new flavors to it. I've done it with uh, brown sugar, uh, cane sugar. You don't have to have sugar, but it certainly helps. But you see, you get to pick all these lovely pieces. And I'm not going to make all these tonight, even though you guys probably would like. I um, <laughs> wonder if we can share. No, no, no. Um, but I have a vacuum seal bag, a um, food saver, which is not the best. Uh, if you're buying one, there are better ones out there. But food saver works if you double up all the seams most of the time. Hurts my hand. Some cuts, yep. All right. Now, ideally I would take this downstairs. But I think Lady Wafer might hit me if I ask her to take it back down. That's 